Hello everyone. Locating root canals is an essential step in doing root canal treatment. If we could not locate a root canal, then we are not going to negotiate it, do cleaning and shaping or obturate that canal, which might lead to an endodontic failure. In this presentation, I am going to explain about some simple techniques and some simple instruments with which we can locate the missed root canals or the hard to locate root canals by easier way compared to the other techniques. The first technique we are going to see is the in case of wide access in the aim of locating the root canals. Let's keep that we have prepared the access quite wide. Actually, locating root canals after preparing a wide access cavity is very difficult and we will see how to locate root canal in those situations. And the second is in the search of canals, we have made the access cavity preparation very deep and after preparing a deep access cavity, again, it's very difficult to locate the root canals. We will see in detail and in cases where the pulp calcifications are present or uh, some canal calcifications are present and which makes the canal location very difficult. Let's see all of these things one by one. Let's consider this as a tooth and we have to prepare an access. But in all situations, preparing an ideal access and locating all the root canals are not always possible. But in some situations, in the search of canals, we make the access cavity preparation quite wider. It's like playing a basketball. Just imagine in a basketball, whenever the ball is thrown, the board will guide the ball inside the basket. In the same way, whenever we are trying to negotiate a canal or to locate a canal, the walls of the access cavity preparation will guide the file to the canal because most often if the access cavity preparation is ideal, the root canal orifice will be, pres will be present in the corner at the junction between the wall and the floor. That is essential. But once we have prepared the access cavity so wide, that is lost. And we cannot expect the walls to guide the file inside the root canals. Let's see a small video. Here we can see that the access cavity has been prepared very wide. We can see that the extension of the access cavity is prepared so wide and uh, we can see the canals or the floor of the pulp chamber inside and the access cavity is quite wide. So in those situations, if you are trying to locate the canals with the help of a hand file, the file will keep on going and hitting at one of the edge and the walls are not going to guide the file inside the access cavity. It is going to be very difficult and it's very time consuming. So instead, after preparing a wide access cavity, we should always use DG16. We can just scratch on the pulpal floor in order to locate the root canal. So whenever you are scratching on the pulpal floor, wherever there is canal, it, the DG16 will get caught. And we have to use a ProTaper Universal SX file. So I will explain why we should use this file. So with the help of this file, just insert inside the root canal orifice, maybe a few millimeters, four or five millimeters and not deep inside. And then if you are using a file, it will be directed more easily inside the root canal. So what we are supposed to do is just take a DG16, scratch on the pulpal floor. The DG16 will get caught at some of the locations where the orifices are present. Then take a ProTaper Universal, the orifice opener, the SX, and insert the file four to five millimeter. Then you can proceed with the regular procedure. If you follow this technique, the cleaning and shaping is going to be super easy. Why we have to use a ProTaper Universal? 
because the file is quite short it is 19 millimeter file which is quite essential and we have to use protaper universal and not protaper gold because protaper universals are quite stiff compared to that of protaper gold and if you are using protaper gold for this purpose you may end up with an instrument separation so use this instrument and once the inside the orifice this instrument they get a catch you you have to go only four or five millimeters you may get a feeling wow it is nice and we shall prepare the entire canal and we shall push the instrument deep inside we should never do that if you are doing that that instrument might separate so just use it as a tool for locating the orifice and just enlarging the orifice then proceed with the regular cleaning and shaping procedure the next situation is in the search of the canal you have prepared an access cavity which is quite deep inside here you can see that the access cavity is quite deep inside and so what happens is we can see that the canals are not on the floor and it's in the walls so this is also called as a mouse hole effect so if this situation happens again if you are using a dg16 again it will be very very difficult you can see in this x-ray also this is a common finding here you can notice that the canal is or, uh, originating in the wall and not from the pulpal floor so in in these situations what we have to do is we have to use a file which is pre-curved so a stainless steel file a maybe a 10 or 15 size file and we have to negotiate if you are using a dg16 the dg16 have no curvature and being a straight instrument it always goes to the floor not on the walls where our canals are now it is in the walls so we have to use a pre-curved stainless steel file and just with the help of the instrument just scratch on the walls in the expected location so we are not trying to negotiate we are just getting, trying to locate the orifices so follow the walls and just try to push the towards the wall so wherever the canal is there the file will get entered inside the canal so what we are supposed to do is just scratch on the walls wherever the expected canals are there then you can proceed with you can do for the same for all the walls and you will be easy to locate instead if you are using any other instrument and i would expect to use a file at least of size 15 because the other files are very very the less 10 or lesser than it's too flexible so after doing this take an sx and just scratch it or push it towards the walls not on the floor towards the walls and so that the instrument will get and enter inside the orifices this may look very simple but in your practice when you are uh, struggling to find or locate the canals try this technique take a file pre-curve it and, and and try to push it on the walls and somewhere it will get caught that will be the location of the canals okay so this is the second one the third situation is the canals may be partially or completely blocked so you may be using a dg16 to scratch on the pulpal floor or you may be using a file to try to negotiate the canal it may not work because the canals are partially the orifices are partially blocked so in this situation the easiest way is directly take a sx the pro taper universal sx and when it is rotating at a speed of around 300 to 350 rpm just try to poke here and there in the pulpal floor and wherever there is canal it will get caught okay and again as i mentioned before do not try to push it so deep inside so that it might break so don't do that so once it gets caught maybe around three to four millimeter then you can proceed with the proper negotiation with a hand file then create a glide path then you can proceed with the cleaning and shaping procedure so the key here what i am trying to say is 
the protoper universal SX orifice opener is really helpful in locating these root canal orifices. Shall we use some other uh, root canal orificing orifice enlargement instruments? We shall use, but this protoper universal, this SX have a really a narrow tip size. And in my experience, this instrument is really helpful compared to most other orifice openers. So it's my recommendation to go for with this instrument. Thank you for watching till the end. Have a nice day.